Hit that came through just after 10 o'clock last night. By 11.30, the tornado watch was canceled, and weather has pretty much calmed down since then as our front now sits along the coastline. Right now, we are dealing with some cloud cover still here and down. A live look outside to show things are much quieter out there. No lightning. We had a pretty impressive lightning show last night, too. 68 degrees, our temperature now, dew point 62. Definitely going to be a little bit muggy this morning, but the humidity will continue to drop as the day goes on. We are looking at 67 in Bell Chase to 70 down along the coast, and as cool 57 in Macomb with 60s for the rest of the North Shore this morning. What to expect today? Cool weather out there. Sunny, warm today out there as well. But cool and comfortable weather tonight. But then strong to possibly severe storms could arrive again Wednesday night. That's something we'll be looking at here in just a few minutes. Right now, though, hour by hour does show we are going to be dealing with, again, temperatures in the 60s this morning, maybe briefly in the upper 50s in some parts of the North Shore. Back to around 70 for everyone by 9 a.m. into the mid-70s by 1 o'clock this afternoon as the clouds start to to thin out a pretty nice day. Gets about 82 on the South Shore, 81 degrees. Slidell, Hammond there north of the lake, probably the 70s from Bogalusa and Macomb, with 80s there from Holma Galliano back to Bell Chase and Gulfport today. Normal high is 79, so just a couple degrees above normal for the day today. Now we do have some quiet weather out there, just some few clouds lingering over top of us. The rain has now slid off to the east and south of us, heading into Florida Panhandle, parts of the Carolinas, where they do have tornado watches in effect for those areas this morning. Uh, but we are going to be dealing with high pressure building in a little later today and that's going to make for some great weather out there as we head throughout the afternoon. Now our attention then is drawn to our next weather system which is off the west coast of the United States. We still have some time before this one gets anywhere near the region here uh, but as that one comes in You'll see here that's going to continue bringing them some rough weather, and then that eventually will work its way across the Arizona, New Mexico, Texas area, and then head toward our area, but not until late on Wednesday. And so we'll see a few showers developing out there Wednesday, but it's Wednesday night into overnight into Thursday morning with about a 60% chance of showers and storms out there as the next front moves in. Then again with another front coming through on Saturday with a little rain. So today you'll see those northerly winds. Clouds start to clear out by this afternoon looking pretty nice. This evening looking pretty good as well here into tomorrow morning. High pressure north of us. Could see maybe a couple showers there to the north tomorrow, uh, but that would really be about it. As we head throughout the day tomorrow, kind of a mostly sunny day once again. Then as we go on into Wednesday morning, clouds start to increase by Wednesday afternoon. A warm front starts moving north, and as that continues to work its way northward here, heading on into early on Thursday morning, there you can see those showers and storms. Best chance can be here to the north, but as that line comes in, could be a squall line coming through during the morning hours here on Thursday into New Orleans, so we definitely need to keep a close eye on that. At the moment, though, we are just saying it's possible for some severe weather threat that should say Wednesday, so we'll continue watching that pretty closely. There's already a marginal risk for severe weather across South Southeast Louisiana, you see here, and then north of us, a slight risk out there. That's where those bigger storms you saw on Precision Cast would be. As we go on into the Wednesday night, Thursday time frame, we are just in that level one. Mainly damaging winds, the main threat. Can't rule out a tornado or two, but best chance probably up here in Mississippi versus down across our area. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that as we get into the next couple of days. So let's look for 82 today, 83 Tuesday, Wednesday, a 20% chance rain. This we head on into Thursday. That's we could see some of those storms maybe a little strong, possibly severe in the morning. But by the afternoon, things start to dry out. 84, 85 Fridays, no cool down behind this front. Another front comes through Saturday into Saturday night. That one will bring us a few storms. Not expected to be severe, but we do cool down by Sunday.